I've had a lot of people asking about my homemade buns. So this morning, I've already got everything measured out. I'm just gonna show you what I do to make my homemade buns. I have four and a half cups of flour here, and I need to add two eggs to that. I'm going to add a half of cup, and you can see this yeast has been activated. This was a half a cup of warm water with two packets of yeast. Red Star yeast is what I actually use, and I had about a tablespoon of honey down in that. So I'm gonna put my activated yeast in. I have a fourth of a cup of butter a half a cup of milk, a pinch of salt, and I need a fourth of a cup of honey. And now I'm going to knead all of this together. I'm going to cover it with a either a towel or a piece of plastic until it doubles in size. That usually takes um, about four hours for me. All right, so when you kind of get everything mixed together, and I always look for a good consistency um, to knead. If it's too dry, you want to add a little bit of water. If it's too wet, you want to add just a little bit of flour. But you're looking for a good consistency where it'll stick to your hands, but not to the point where you can't work with it. And then I'm going to knead that up into a nice ball. And if you're unfamiliar with that process, you're just taking the dough and pulling it up and pressing it down and kind of turning that until you get everything mixed in. Once everything is mixed in, I'm just gonna take my ball Okay, now I'm going to cover this for a good four hours, or at least until it doubles in size. I'm going to stick it in my warm oven with the light on and let her go. All right, guys, it's time to make buns. So I'm going to fry with my hands a little bit. And I already have um, my pan greased. And I popped this out of the oven. I took my plastic off of it. So what I like to do is just grab handfuls of dough. The dough has been in for about four hours. And um, it was rose up in here, but had somebody that had hands in it. So I'm just gonna form little little balls, basically. And this is just for my family, so I don't really care how pretty or not pretty they are. They're gonna go back in the oven for another rise. I'm gonna egg wash them, which I'm gonna show you how I do that in just a minute. And I'm gonna add some sesame seed on top. <clears throat> you can make them as large or as small as you would like. I found that between my little girls and my oldest son that can eat a horse, mm. 
that about hand handful for our family works good. About a handful a day at a time. Let's see, I'm gonna adjust these just a little. And then my bigger ones, the ones that turn out to be a little bit bigger, and of course you see I have a little one right here. The baby will eat that. Okay, now I'm gonna egg wash. Okay, to do an egg wash, I literally just have an egg and I have a little brush, and I'm going to lightly coat this on the top. The heavier you get it, the more crusty it will get, like this right here. It will just make it a little bit more crusty instead of um, <clears throat> a little bit more rollsy. Rolls tend to be soft when you add egg white wash. It just tends to make it a little bit more crusty. Carly's going to put some sesame seeds. Please don't get them all over the counter. Can I do it? Can I do it? This is just sesame seeds that you can buy can can from the store. Can you can, again, put as much as you want or as little as you want. These will go uncovered back in the oven for just a few hours, an hour or two, whenever you kind of get them to the size that you're ready to bake them. Um, for us, it's about two hours, and then we'll turn it on and get 350 into their bun, but we'll come back when that's time. All right, they are ready to cook. So I'm gonna put them on three, 25 I'll bump it up if I need to and as soon as they're done we're gonna take them out and cut them up they'll be ready to eat guys I have pulled them out and cooled them down enough so I could pull one out and show it to you now we will cut this in half and stick our hamburger buns on it I mean our hamburgers on our buns and like I said you can make them as big or as small as you would like and it sure beats having the buns at the store with all the chemicals and stuff in them. I will prefer to take homemade any day. Happy homesteading, y'all.